How's it going, everybody? Gerald Reynolds, Portland, Oregon. Hey, we got a new kitty who, uh, oh, I forgot to get a picture of her ready. Dad, gum it. Yeah, I know. we have five now, but we're trying, we're getting rid of some because we're actually finding homes for them, is what we're doing. It's sort of a little mini rescue. When it started out, we noticed that, you know, we had our, you know, cats of our own. We noticed all, a bunch of the strays in the neighborhood were, like, living under our building. Like, mostly right under our apartment. And my brother Lane and I, being big, huge cat lovers, well, we started taking care of them. <laughs> you know? We'd leave food for them. We'd put a big food out there, big food bowl. We'd put a bunch of water out there for them. And then we uh, we built a little, this. we put a little, took a box, put some cushioning in it, some towels and stuff. And then we took another box, put it on, like, on the top above it, with some plastic on the top, so if it rains, it's way. And, uh, you know, it's just so instead of going under the house, if they want, they can come out and lay down. Well, I'll be darned if this one cat, this one, the older one, uh, her name is Rita, that's what we call her, because uh, she answered to it. <laughs> it's a huge, uh, I forgot what they call it. They're like a Siamese look, but Persian. You know which ones I mean? I forgot what they're called, dog, Gordon. But, uh, yeah, she's kind of been acting like the matriarch, you know, the, the mom kitty hanging out, watching watching out for the youngsters. Because the one that we actually got in here yeah, the other night is a, a little, uh, maybe 12-week-old little kitten. It's just a kitten. And it seemed like Rita, the new Siamese cat, it seemed like she was bringing her to us. Yeah, almost as if to say, you know, look what I found. Can I bring her home? Or can you guys take care of her like you do me? Or whatever. I don't, I don't know. What I, I have a thing about almost, uh, you know, anthropomorphizing, maybe you know, perf trying to per personify cats' thoughts. Uh, if you listen close, they have a language. Uh, cats, as a matter of fact, the only reason they meow, meow, is for humans. Yeah. It's all for us. That's how they want to communicate with us. Because we talk. We're loud all that we talk. And that's what they're trying to do. To communicate. So they meow. But if you'll notice. You leave them alone with each other in a room somewhere. You'll never hear anything hardly. You won't. You'll see them jump. You'll hear uh, maybe a little hiss from a hassle or something. There's all kinds of things. But you will never hear it. Meow, meow. That's funny. It's a true story. True story. Cats don't meow. Well, they meow to talk to us. So we have to discern what each, you know, separate meow means because uh, they definitely have meaning. They, there are different types of meows, like you know how the Siamese do. Meow, meow. We got a cat that meows just like that, but he's Stuart and he's a black and white cat. Interesting. Hey, hello, where he is. Where are you guys? Stewie! Mr. Biscuit's here, I'm sure. Yep, right behind me, like always. Oh, let's see. What we where are you, Mr. Biscuit? I can't find him, don't know why. He's here. He's right here. Maybe if I move out of the way, he'd see him. Oh, no, that's right, because I got a lot Ah, uh, uh, stupid video. <laughs> anyway, this is just about my cats and getting this new one in, because I'm, I'm over there at uh, Atheist uh, Elyria Files, which is uh, uh, cat fanciers, is the term, or cat fanciers. And uh, considering we're all atheists, uh, it makes me happy. <laughs> so, you know, I know that the people are going to be rational, free-thinking individuals, and they're not going to come with this, oh, don't worry, Lord will do it. We don't have to worry about any of that crap. Yeah, uh -huh. had a lot of help, a lot of good help with these people too. Find already got. I found a couple of moms. There, I don't know how many learned under there, but one was pregnant. Haven't seen her for days. <laughs> I didn't want her to have those kittens under there. We wanted to try to get her out of there before then, but we don't know what's happened. We're concerned. We'll look at that. We'll we can do it. But anyway, uh, we'll see y'all later. Uh, I'll keep you updated, okay? This is gonna, this is gonna go to my atheist and files, but of course it's gonna go through YouTube.
do do because I do YouTube and uh, MySpace. Or not MySpace, Facebook. I don't know what happened in MySpace. It seems like they're just full of uh, advertising now or something. Weird, you know. See you later. Take it easy. See you on YouTube. Good night. Hi, Christine. Bye, Christine. Angela. Hi, hon. Bye. See y'all. Alessandra. Everybody.